Hello everybody, Simple Vapes again. I'm going to do a follow-up video on the uh, Eid liquid that we mixed earlier in a previous episode, the Simple Vanilla Ice Cream. And I'm also going to use the coils that I did the other day too in a previous video, which is the 6 wrap, 24 gauge, twisted. I'm actually going to mount that on a Velocity 2 style deck. And going to use Angora Rabbit cotton that I have, that I got compliments of Tommy Vapors. He's another good person that does reviews on YouTube. He has his own YouTube channel, which is Tommy Vapors. He's on every other Thursday, and he's on Friday nights. But I'm going to use Angora cotton. I got two pieces cut for it. So I don't have to take time to do it, but you're going to need scissors, ceramic tip tweezers, Allen wrench for the Velocity 2, 3mm coil jig for the cutters, also the mouthpiece for the Velocity 2, I'm using the glass one, and when we're finished, Wicking it up in that, I'm going to use the Vupu drag to show you how it is. And I'm also using Coil Masters 521 MIDI Mini Ohm Tester. Let's go down. Take your coil, put it on a 3 millimeter jig, and the velocity tool is actually quite simple. Bottom of one, oh, got to loosen up the screws a little more. I said I didn't actually do this. So over there, I got to show you on camera. You got to loosen them up. Around to the other side. And these coils, like I said in the previous video, should ohm out at around 0 0.20. Okay. Try this now. Bottom one top of the other one. Okay, that's in. I'm going to use the Allen key. Just tighten up the one side. Right now, just to get it snugged up. Turn it around to the other side. Let's move it over just a little bit. Slide this side up. And these, the velocity tool is actually quite easy to work with. Just want to try to get your coils centered on your deck. Okay, there's that. Clip these leads. Like I said before, when you're using these, you gotta watch. Wires don't shoot all over the place. They will stick in your feet or in your hands or in your animals' feet. Now we'll do the second one. Do the same thing, just on the opposite side. And then bottom on one, top on the other. Bring those in. Get that out of the way just so I can 
tighten them up. Good. I'm going to put this back in there for right now just to hold it. Snug. Clip off these leads. When you're cutting these ones, you just want to make sure that you don't cut your other leads that you put in there prior. Like I said, it'll shoot just like that. Actually stuck in my finger. So there you let the heads up. They will fly. My tweezers. There's a little bit of a space in them coils. So I'm going to just try and pinch them together a little bit, take up the space, pick them up so they're level on both sides. So both sides are even with each other. You want to make sure you're not touching the posts. Because then you'll get a, a short. Won't work right. <clears throat> okay. Those are in. Like uh, the cotton. All you do is take a piece of cotton. Twist the end of it with your fingers to get a bit of a point on it. Like so. All you do is Sometimes you can wet your fingers a little bit for the cotton. It'll help. Pull through. You want it so it's a little snug, but not real tight. So you want it so it just slightly moves your coil a little bit. Okay, that's good there. Put the one on the other side. Same thing. Twist your cotton. Same thing, just so it's a little snug, moves back and forth, it's free without a problem. Okay, those are good. When I cut my cotton, you can see the O-rings on it. I usually cut it even with the second O-ring, or in between the two O-rings. Cut this side, because all you need is your cotton to actually set in the bottom of your chamber. You don't need a lot of cotton in there, just enough so it touches the bottom of the deck. From all of them, so they're the same thing on this one. I'm going to use the Allen key, push it down in there. And all you're doing, you want to keep your cotton fluffy, which this year I actually did, so I don't really have to run a pick through it or anything. Turn this on in just a second here so you can see what the meter is, what it's reading. It's actually reading a point two two, which is actually good. I said it would be a point two zero. Oh, I'm only two over, which is actually good <laughs> for the first first time doing it for a beginner that'd be real good to get that close and snug these up your deck screws okay. Oh. Okay, so I can take this off of this like I said you can 
expired on this to actually get the juice through your cotton and into your coils. <clears throat> I'm actually going to take it off. And like I said, I'm going to put it on my whoopoo drag. And this will actually automatically set itself to a temperature that it thinks, or a volts that it thinks that you should use. And when you put on a new one, it'll ask you if it's a new coil. All you got to do is click yes, it's a new coil. So on here it's actually reading 0.18, which is actually even better. <laughs> this bring you out just a little bit and your juice liquid shake it up just coat your coils put it over the top of the coils just to get them wet and just pump it it'll actually draw the liquid right down in into the coils and into the cotton Get this so you can see it here. Just bump it for right now. That's all you're doing just to get the juice into it, into your coils. See it? Suck it in. Then you can actually wet your co your cotton, both sides, saturate it. But you don't want to get too much because then it'll run all over the place on you. But you just want to get your cotton wet so it's saturated so you don't get dry hits. Won't like a dry hit. And the suggested wattage they give is 50 watts. Back this out a little bit so you get a better view. Get a better view of it this way so you can actually see what it does. I'm going to wet the cotton and the coils again just to get it well saturated. The glass barrels on these, it's got two slots in there that goes right even with your coil so it gets the air on it and you can see what it does inside of it. Take a vape on this, see how it is. I get a real good vanilla flavor. I can really taste ice cream flavor itself, being I use the liquid barn ice cream. I can taste the hints of vanilla in myself because I can taste the vanilla in it. But it's a real good vape. That's at 50 watts. I'm going to bump it up. I usually go up higher than that. I'm usually vaping between 70 and 90 watts. So I'm going to go up to 80 watts. That's what I normally do. You'll find your own sweet spot where you like to vape at certain temperatures and certain wattages. That's better for me. And with it being 80 watts, you'll see the difference in the how quick it fires. Put another batch of this. Our juice on it. Into it, get it back on, and it's good to go. Get real good vapor, good vapor, great vapor. You get real good flavor out of it. But that's all that I have today. I just want to do a follow up video with the coils and the liquid. Today, I believe, was either seven or eight days that this simple ice cream steeped 
and I did the coils after that. So that way there I'm basically doing it in order for you. But that's it for today. There's going to be more videos to come. Going to be doing more e-liquid mixing, more coils. But this is Simple Vapes, and I'm Scott. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below.